Do you know how knife depine interacts with the foods you eat? This is a question that may not cross your mind often, but if you're someone who relies on this medication, it's a crucial one to consider. Nifedipine, a key player in the world of pharmaceuticals, is commonly prescribed to treat conditions like high blood pressure and chest pain. While it's a potent ally in the fight for better health, it's also sensitive to what you consume alongside it. Like a delicate dance, the effectiveness and safety of nifedipine can be influenced by the foods you eat. It's not just about taking your medication on time, it's about understanding the entire performance, the intricate interplay between your diet and your medication. This understanding can make a significant difference in your journey towards improved health. So are you ready to dive deeper into this topic? Join us as we uncover the foods to avoid while on nifedipine. So what exactly is nifedipine and what does it do in our bodies? Nifedipine, you might have heard it mentioned by your doctor or pharmacist, or maybe you've seen it printed on a medication label. But what is it really? Nifedipine is a type of medication known as a calcium channel blocker. It sounds fancy, right? But don't worry, it's not as complex as it sounds. In essence, nifedipine works by relaxing the muscles in your heart and blood vessels. It does this by blocking the channels that allow calcium to flow into the muscle cells in your heart and blood vessels. When calcium enters these cells, it causes them to contract, which can tighten your blood vessels and put more strain on your heart. By blocking these channels, nifedipine helps to relax and widen your blood vessels, which in turn reduces the amount of work your heart has to do. This simple but effective action makes nifedipine a valuable tool in managing conditions such as high blood pressure and angina. High blood pressure, as you might know, is a condition where the force of the blood against your artery walls is consistently too high. This can lead to serious health issues over time, including heart disease and stroke. Angina, on the other hand, is a type of chest pain caused by reduced blood flow to the heart. It's often a symptom of an underlying heart problem, such as coronary artery disease. By relaxing and widening the blood vessels, Nifedipine can help to lower blood pressure and reduce the frequency and severity of angina attacks. It's a small pill with a big job and it's all thanks to its calcium channel blocking abilities. Now that we know what Nifedipine does, let's dive into the food interactions. Did you know that what you eat can affect how Nifedipine works in your body? This might seem strange, but it's an important fact to bear in mind. You see, food can have a significant impact on how your body absorbs and reacts to Nifedipine. When we eat, our body's digestive system gets to work, breaking down the food into nutrients that our body can use. When you take a medication like nifedipine, the digestive system also gets to work on that, breaking it down so it can be absorbed into your bloodstream and do its job. But here's where things get interesting. Certain types of food can interfere with this process. They can affect how quickly or slowly the medication is broken down and absorbed. This, in turn, can change the effectiveness of the drug. Some foods might make nifedipine less effective, while others could cause it to be absorbed too quickly, leading to potential side effects. That's why it's crucial to pay attention to your diet while on this medication. Simple dietary changes can make a big difference in how well nifedipine works for you. So, it's not just about taking your medication on time, it's also about what you're eating when you take it. Understanding this interaction between food and nifedipine is a key part of managing your health while on this medication. Let's now look at some specific foods that you should avoid. First on our list of foods to avoid is grapefruit and grapefruit juice. Now you might be wondering why grapefruit? What's the big deal? Well, let me tell you, it's not about the fruit itself, but rather how it interacts with nifedipine. You see, grapefruit and its juice, as refreshing and healthy as they may seem, have a unique ability to interfere with certain medications, nifedipine being one of them. This is because they contain compounds known as furanocumarines, which can block an enzyme in your body that's responsible for breaking down certain drugs. When this enzyme is blocked, it can lead to an increased level of nifedipine in your bloodstream. And while having a little extra might not sound like a bad thing, in this case it can be. This spike in medication levels can potentially lead to an array of unwanted side effects. The side effects can range from mild to severe, depending on the amount of grapefruit consumed and the individual's body response. They may include headaches, flushing, dizziness, rapid heart rate, and in severe cases, even a significant drop in blood pressure. 
It's important to note that these side effects aren't due to the grapefruit itself, but rather its interaction with knife to pine. And here's something else to bear in mind. It's not just about avoiding grapefruit while you're taking your medication. The effects of grapefruit can last for up to 24 hours. So even if you have your morning grapefruit juice and take your knife to pine later in the evening, there's still a risk. So the next time you're reaching for that grapefruit or pouring yourself a glass of its juice, remember, it might not be the best choice if you're on knife dipine. It's always best to consult with your healthcare provider about your diet when taking any medication. That's not all, there are more foods on this list. We'll delve into those in the next segment, so stick around. There's more to learn about knife dipine and food interactions. Next, we have high potassium foods and salt substitutes. Now, you might be wondering why these on the list. Here's the thing. When you're taking knife to peen, you need to keep your potassium levels in check. Potassium is a mineral that plays a crucial role in the body. It helps with muscle function, nerve signaling, and importantly, maintaining a healthy heart rhythm. But while potassium is good for us in the right amounts, too much of it can lead to a condition called hyperkalemia, which can be dangerous, especially for those on knife to pine. So what exactly are these high potassium foods we're talking about? Well, there's a long list, but some common ones are bananas, oranges, spinach, and potatoes. And it's not just the foods that are naturally high in potassium. Salt substitutes can also be a source of this mineral. Many people use these substitutes as a healthier alternative to regular table salt, not realizing that they can significantly increase their potassium intake. Now you might be asking, how does nifedipine fit into all this? Nifedipine, as we've learned, is a calcium channel blocker, which means it helps relax and widen your blood vessels, making it easier for your heart to pump blood. But if you have too much potassium in your blood, it can interfere with the electrical signals in your heart, potentially leading to irregular heart rhythms and other heart-related issues. Remember, the goal isn't to remove all potassium from your diet. That wouldn't be healthy either. The key is to keep a balance. So if you're on knife to pine, it's essential to monitor your potassium intake, especially from high potassium foods and salt substitutes. And don't forget, it's always a good idea to discuss any dietary concerns with your healthcare provider. They can provide specific guidance based on your health history and current medications. Remember, it's not just about what you shouldn't eat, but also about maintaining a balanced diet. Now that we've covered the key foods to avoid, let's recap. Nifedipine, a calcium channel blocker, is a medication primarily used to treat high blood pressure and angina. By relaxing the muscles of your heart and blood vessels, it helps improve blood flow, making it easier for your heart to pump. However, as we've discussed, it's crucial to be aware of potential interactions between nifedipine and certain foods. Grapefruit and grapefruit juice, for instance, can significantly increase the concentration of nifedipine in your blood. This can lead to an increased risk of side effects such as dizziness, flushing, and low blood pressure. We also touched on high potassium foods like bananas, oranges, and spinach. While potassium is essential for heart health, too much of it can cause problems if you're on knife to pine. The medication can cause your body to retain more potassium, potentially leading to dangerously high levels. And let's not forget about high fiber foods. While generally healthy, these foods can reduce the absorption of knife to pine, making the medication less effective. However, it's important to remember that everyone's body reacts differently. What may cause an interaction in one person may not in another. The points we've discussed today serve as a guide, but they are not a substitute for professional medical advice. Remember, always consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your diet or medication regimen.